Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of x to the fifth over the square root of x squared plus 2 dx. No surprise, I picked something that involved trig sub since most of you are probably at that point in the semester where you're learning trig sub if you're taking calculus 2 for the first time. Um, you're more than welcome though to try another method. Let me know if you find something else that works. And so how do we pick which trig sub to use? Well, you look at this expression here in the denominator, x squared plus 2. Since we have a quadratic expression with addition, then we're going to use the substitution that involves tangent theta. So we're going to go ahead and let x equal the square root of 2 tan theta. And then I need to figure out how to rewrite this entire integral in terms of theta. So what we're going to do is differentiate both sides now. So dx is square root of 2 secant squared theta d theta. Perfect. Now go back, substitute everything. So we have a new integral all in terms of theta. So instead of x to the fifth up top, that's square root of 2 tan theta to the fifth. This is right here and then dx is square root of 2 secant squared theta d theta let me just write it up top here so it's not floating out there lonely and then in the denominator we have square root of x squared plus 2 well where was x x was right here so x squared is going to be 2 tan squared theta plus 2 okay let me finish my color uh, coding party. Here's rad 2 secant squared theta d theta. That's my dx. And then all of this is right here. Okay, beautiful. Now let's clean up as much as possible. And then always keep in mind, the whole point of doing trig sub is so that you can use your Pythagorean identities, like tan squared theta plus 1 is secant squared theta, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1, etc. We use those to clean up the expressions that appear in the integrand, especially the ones that are trapped under a square root sign or something. All right, so here we go. We've got integral. Square root of 2 to the fifth is going to give me 4 square root of 2. Okay, and then I've got tangent theta to the fifth. Seek it. Oh, and then another rad 2 secant squared theta d theta. I'm going to leave it alone because let's simplify the denominator and we'll see where things are going. Now, focusing here off to the side, I can factor that 2 out and then I have tan squared theta plus 1. And this is all underneath the square root sign in the denominator, yes? And then now we come in with our identity. So this is square root of 2 secant squared theta, which, don't forget technically, is square root of 2 times the absolute value of secant theta. If you'll recall, the square root of x squared is not x, it's the absolute value of x. Unless you've been told otherwise. Unless somewhere it says assume all variables represent non-negative values or something. But no. So what do we do? Do we have to have absolute value secant theta down here when we simplify? No, because if you'll remember when we do trig sub and we make the substitution to let x equal a tan theta, we restrict theta to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And the reason we do that is now since I've guaranteed that theta is in quadrants 1 and 4, I know secant theta is yes not negative there, so I don't need to keep the absolute value bars. So now I'm just going to replace the entire denominator with square root of 2 secant theta. You don't have to put absolute value, but I want you to know it was not out of carelessness that they're not there. Now just check with your instructor if they need you to state this every single time, or if we all just can say we know when we do trig sub, theta is restricted so we don't have to keep absolute value, okay? But just be aware. All right, so I left this rad 2 because I knew it was going to cancel with the rad 2 down here. And then this secant also cancels with one of the secants up top. So now let's see what we got going on. I'm going to take this constant outside. 4 rad 2, you are exiled outside the integral. Then I have tangent theta to the fifth, secant theta, d theta. Okay, so from here to proceed, we're going to have to do a u sub. And I just mentally go through the two options that I have. 
Would it work to let you be tan theta or would it work to let you be secant theta? Well, if u is tan theta, du would be secant squared theta d theta. Do I have that? No. And there doesn't seem to be a nice way I can make that happen. However, if u is secant theta, du would be secant theta tan theta d theta. Do I have that? Kind of. I can steal a tangent over. So let's do that. This one's not going to work out. You don't have to write them when you get comfortable, but maybe in the beginning it's helpful to see. So since I want to make this substitution happen, I'm going to steal a tangent theta from tangent to the fifth theta. So we've got tangent to the fourth theta times tangent theta secant theta d theta. Are we okay? Good. So all of this is going to become my du. But look back, that means u needs to be secant theta. So the rest of my integral needs to involve only secant thetas. Right now I've got tangent to the fourth theta. That's not a problem. Because remember, tangent to the fourth theta, that's tangent squared theta squared. And I can replace tangent squared theta with, you got it, secant squared theta minus one. So I have all of that squared times another tan theta, secant theta, d theta. Okay, perfect. Now we can go ahead, make the u sub, four square root of two times the integral of u squared minus one squared du. Beautiful. Now from here, we just foil our little hearts out. No big deal. u to the fourth minus two u squared plus one du. Now take the antiderivative term by term. So four rad two, one fifth u to the fifth minus two thirds u cubed plus u plus c. Now we have to go back, replace all of the u's with very good, secant theta. So this is one fifth secant theta to the fifth minus two thirds secant theta cubed plus secant theta plus c. And don't get too excited, it's not time to box it yet because the original problem was in terms of x, not theta. So how do we get back to x's? It's triangle time. So remember we made the substitution, we let x equal the square root of 2 tan theta. Isolate the trig function. So that means x over the square root of 2 is tan theta. So now we're going to draw a triangle in which tangent of the angle theta has the ratio x over square root of 2, opposite over adjacent. Now find the missing side. The hypotenuse is going to be square root of x squared plus 2. And then using this triangle now, I can find secant theta in terms of x. Okay, so we're almost done. We're almost home free, hang in there. So this is four rad two times one fifth. Secant theta is ratio of hypotenuse over adjacent, very good. So this is gonna be square root x squared plus two over square root of two to the fifth, I'm figuring out right here, secant theta to the fifth, minus two thirds. This is gonna be square root x squared plus two over square root of two cubed plus, and then just plain old secant theta, square root x squared plus two over square root of two, and then I have plus c. Okay, so now let's clean up. We have here 4 rad 2 times 1 fifth. I'm going to write the numerator as x squared plus 2 to the 5 halves. I just think that looks better. But you do you. Or actually, no, you don't get to. You do what your instructor says. <laughs> you get to do you when you don't have to get graded by someone else. Um, and then over rad 2 to the fifth, remember that's 4 rad 2 minus two thirds times, up top we'll have x squared plus two to the three halves, rad two cubed is two rad two, plus, 
And then just to make it all matchy-matchy, I'll write this as x squared plus 2 to the 1 half, you know? Like, why would I leave him with the square root if nobody else has a radical? That would be weird. I don't know if you guys watched Sesame Street when you, you were young and they're like, one of these is not like the other. We don't want him to be not like the others. Okay, last thing. We're just going to distribute the 4 rad 2 through. And I'm just going to simplify as I distribute, okay? Can you handle it? It'll cancel ever so beautifully on that first term. I'm just thrilled with how this is all working out. So 1 fifth x squared plus 2 to the 5 halves minus... Now check this out. This 2 and this 2 cancel. And then this rad 2 is going to cancel with the rad 2 from the 4. So all I'll have left is 4 over 3. Yes. Minus 4 thirds x squared plus 2 to the 3 halves plus. And then just the rad 2 cancels on that last term. So I've got 4 times x squared plus 2 to the 1 half plus c. And I would leave it like this. I think this is the most simplified. If you're inclined to factor out an x squared plus 2 to the 1 half, you could, but then you would just like keep foiling your little heart out. And I don't think it just, it would look much better. I mean, you'd foil what's left over after you factor that, but it, it, it doesn't seem necessary or helpful to me. So you let me know. In the comments below, how do you feel about this as the final simplified answer? I feel fantastic. I came across this problem because I was thinking to make an updated video lecture on trig sub. And uh, I thought this was nice. This was in between. This was medium. Like I wouldn't open the lecture with this problem. Heavens no. But I think it's a good one to just make sure if you could do this on your own correctly, you've got trig sub locked in for sure. Anyways, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below how you solved it. If you did something other than trig sub, I'd love to know. I really would. But also, you know, embrace the trig sub. It's beautiful. It exists for a reason. And it's useful. Very useful. That's pretty much it. If you want a full length video and this frightened you, then just go to the description because I have <laughs> plenty of more basic integrals going through the techniques that were utilized in this video. And I will be back with more content sooner than later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. I love you all so much. Bye.